What's up, folks? It's your buddy Fiddle Ready Tank doing a Raw recap. Start off with a recap of last week's Raw with Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. Cutting back to the ring, we got the winners of the Men's Raw Survivor Series team. Adam Pierce is talking about last week and what happened at Survivor Series. And that somebody from the Raw Survivor Series team is going to be getting a title shot against Drew McIntyre. Everybody on the team pleads their cases. Braun Strowman takes it upon himself to start threatening Adam Pierce. Ends up clocking Pierce with a headbutt. And we cut to a commercial. We'll get back to that one later. Earlier on today, the Hurt Business brow beat Xavier Woods into getting a tag team title shot, which is our next match. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin versus The New Day for the Raw Tag Team titles. Started off as a match. It, I, I really didn't get interested in it. Cedric Alexander pulled Kofi Kingston off of the top rope. This inevitably ended up in a double countout. As the New Day are starting to go up the ramp, MVP gets on the microphone and Brow beats him once again into getting into a match. So we restart the match once again. This time, it was good. I liked it. It was a lot of action. Kofi Kingston tweaked his knee after going up over the top rope, but the New Day ended up pulling it out with Xavier Woods pulling off a sunset powerbomb on Shelton Benjamin to get the pin and retain their titles. Looks like third time's not the charm for the Hurt Business. Backstage, Adam Pierce was going to divulge what he was going to be doing with Drew McIntyre, as he called him Drew McInfart. Oops. But anyways, Bobby Lashley comes running up and he has some business to talk to him. They walk off. After a commercial, we go back to Adam Pierce and he's approached by Randy Orton. They go off and have a talk. Jesus Christ. Why don't we just, just do it all one time? No waste time. Come on. Backstage, Lana is on top of the world. She hints on possibly going after Tosca's belt. Okay. We cut back to Adam Pierce and we finally find out what the hell is going to be going on. There's going to be three matches going on. The winner of each match next week, there's going to be a triple threat match. And that winner of that match is going to be facing Drew McIntyre. Holy shit, we had to go through all of that. And the first of those matches is going to be Matt Riddle versus Sheamus. I really don't understand what the thing is with the slow motion with, with Matt Riddle kicking off of his flip-flops. Why? it's not, everything else is fine we don't get anybody else doing like slow-mo entrances but you know kicking off flip-flops i guess is a big thing i guess this isn't a bad match we've seen it already before on smackdown these two have pretty good chemistry together my only downside to this match is it took way too long matt riddle was able to counter the cloverleaf ended up pinning sheamus so he advances to next week Backstage, Asuka approaches Lana. She accepts her challenge for the Raw Women's title. And we got an episode of Firefly Funhouse where Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss are talking about friendship. They say friendship is no good. And we're introduced to a new puppet, Friendship Frog. He says that Alexa Bliss shouldn't turn away from Nikki Cross. Wyatt whispers in Bliss's ear. And Alexa Bliss beats the ever-loving hell out of Friendship Frog. We then go on to our next match, Asuka vs. Lana for the Raw Women's title. Before the match really gets started, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax come out. Oh boy, we'll see what's going to be happening here. This match really goes absolutely nowhere. Asuka chucks some water on Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. They end up beating down on Asuka. Disqualification. Jax tries to put Asuka through a table, but Lana saves her. Jax and Baszler challenge him to a match. Guess what, play? We got a tag team match going. Jesus Christ. So we got Lana and Asuka versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. No titles on the line. It probably would have been a lot better if, we, if it was a tag title match. But who the hell am I? I'm, I'm Schmucky the Clown. I have nothing to do with booking. Anyways, and match. Lana gets worked over. She gets a tag on to Asuka. She starts beating everybody up. Stupid. Jax and Lana are sitting there fighting on the outside. Shayna Baszler puts a coquina clutch on Lana. Totally forgets the fact that uh, Asuka's right behind her. She does a surprise roll up. Gets the pin. Done. Stupid. Way to go, women's division. Awesome booking. In the second qualifying match, we got Keith Lee versus Bobby Lashley. MVP is at ringside. Two big-ass powerhouses going at it. There were some awesome spots through this whole match. Bobby Lashley pulled off an insane suplex. There was some interference by MVP. Bobby Lashley tried to put the hurt lock in on Keith Lee three times. To no avail, the third time he ended up breaking out again. Starts him out of comeback. MVP comes running in. Beats up on Keith Lee. Disqualification. Way to go, MVP. Then we got Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross. Throughout this whole match, Alexa Bliss is straight out toying with Nikki Cross, laughing at all of her offense. Nikki Cross starts getting fed up with this, starts beating the ever-loving hell out of Alexa Bliss. Bliss starts pleading with Nikki Cross to stop, and she needs help. Cross helps her up. They hug. This was 
all a ruse though. Alexa Bliss drops Nikki Cross, gets the pin. I, I will give this story some leeway because it feels like it has some legs to it. Um, I want to see where this goes. You know, there's some stories where it's like, okay, this is kind of stupid. Let's get it over with. Not this one. I, I honestly think there is a little, there's, there is something to get out of this. I know the whole, probably going to be the whole redemption, you know, Nikki Cross turns Alexa Bliss back over. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the ending of it, but I want to see where this goes. This, this has some potential to it. We then had a recap of the farewell for The Undertaker. Once again, thank you, Undertaker, for 30 years. As I said in the Survivor Series uh, video, uh, my first match watching it was the Survivor Series 90 match when he debuted. And I was hooked. Have the belt. Awesome. Love The Undertaker. Thank you for 30 years. And we go on to our main event. We got Randy Orton versus AJ Styles for the qualifying match to face Drew McIntyre. Early on in the match, Styles tried to put away Randy Orton really quick. No avail. AJ tries to work on the leg of Orton, softening him up for the calf crusher. This was a good match. I liked it. Usually Randy Orton matches are kind of plodding and like, okay, let's get this over with. Not this one. I actually liked this match. It actually had a really good pace to it. Um, partway towards the end of the match, the red lights start flashing. Spooks Randy Orton. He jumps back into the ring. All of a sudden, lights go out. Randy Orton is sitting in the corner. And up from behind him pops up. The Fiend spooks him. Lights go back out. Fiend's gone. Randy Orton ends up hitting a phenomenal forearm. Uh, AJ Styles gets the pin. So he advances. So it's going to be Matt Riddle, Keith Lee, and AJ Styles in a triple threat match next week. It, the winner will be facing uh, Drew McIntyre, um, I'm guessing, probably at the TLC pay-per-view. Right as Raw was ending, we got The Fiend laughing at Randy Orton. We end. Okay. Tonight's Raw, it was, it was a mixed bag. The beginning, we had that obligatory, like, 10-hour monologue that we always get. Why? Just, just get into it. Um... The matches were, some of them, the matches were, were decent, you know, awesome job on the women's matches. Um, well, the, well, the Lana, Asuka, that whole thing, that was trash. The night, the, the Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss one, that one I actually liked. That one, like I said, has legs to it. The qualifying matches were good. The first one, Riddle and, and Sheamus, just drug out too long, but it was decent. The Raw tag title match, that was pretty good. Um, so, I, like I said, it was a decent Raw. We didn't we didn't have a like, complete and total talk fest like most of the uh, Fallout shows were, but it was good. I liked it. And that'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. I'll be back later this week with the SmackDown review. Leave a comment down below what you thought thanks for all what you thought about this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.